Christian Latham. Starting goaltenders is going to be Chase Anderson for the Campbell River Storm. Coming in with a 5-11 and 1 record with a 3.38 goals against average and a .906 save percentage. Marcus Gloss back in between the pipes after an outstanding game against the Nymo. He comes in with a record of 13-8, 1 and 1 and a 3.13 goals against average and a .908 save percentage. Starting lineup for the Campbell River Storm. We've got Mitchell Williams and we've got Darren Hards out there. It's just like old Prince George week for me. So Game is underway. Now it's Campbell Harvey Storm. back into the far side corner. Blake, cross ice pass, Raffler, the former Glacier King, over, there's a shot, rebound in front to Brewer, what a save by Gloss, that was a big one, it's going to be clear down the ice, 9.45 left in the first period, Comox 0 for 1 with the power play, Raffler avoids a big hit on the play, as Durante was trying to drill him, and the puck's going to be shot in by Gibson, he takes a hit on the play, Lots of hitting so far here in the first half of this opening period. And now Brewer takes a hit from Withy and got a face wash in return for his troubles. Play at center ice, and there's a big hit by Williams on height. And now another one as Ambrose just drilled hard. Very physical game here, folks. Ambrose over the blue line. Blue top line of the circle. Circle. Top of the circle. A shot. And that was partially blocked by Kinley. Went wide. Ahola shoots it in behind the net to the near side corner. It's going to be a collision there. Pavla gets it back into the corner. Here's a centering pass for Height. A shot. He scores! Oh, Austin Height with the goal. And the Glacier Kings take a one to nothing lead. Just a great shot by Height there, went post to post inside. Beautiful uh, pass out by McKenzie, I think it was. Uh, came out, saw Height, he, he came streaking into the slot, into the high slot. That's his second goal in the last two games. Just great to see him back well, in the line. got a piece of it anyways, bottomly behind the net. Campbell Rivers starting out with strong legs here in this second period, just as he did in the first. It's going to be cleared up the near side boards and shot out by McKenzie. And here's a shot by Ahola as he got in behind the D-man. And a nice save there by Anderson. Ahola steals a pass. Has it the face-off drop. Drop pass. Daniel a shot. And another save by Anderson. Couple of big chances here for the Glacier Kings. Early the in the line, top of the circle. He'll take a shot with a screen. Beats Smith in front of the net. And it's going to be stopped by Gloss once again. And it goes down the ice. You can see McCartney slowing down. So there's no icing on the play. We pass the two minute mark. It's going to come right out in front. Dolman, a backhand shot. He scores! Caleb Dolman makes it two to nothing. Great play by Caleb Dolman. Five hand on the backhand, but that was all Daniel. The Glacier Kings to lead two nothing. Now it's going to be Shepard getting the puck in over the blue line. A shot around the board. Shepard will pick it up. Actually, he loses it, and McCann breaks out with speed at center over the blue line in tight quarters. To Kindley coming in on goal, a backhand shot, save, no, they score! Lost thought he had it between his pads, but it snuck through, and it's 2-1. to one. Yeah, that's a really tough one there because... You know, Gloss has made so many fantastic saves Stopped. all night. That one and that shot one. back out to center ice. Nice play there by Durante. Campbell River brings it back over the blue line. Nice move by Blake coming in over the line. He's hit from behind. Nice check there by Withy. Withy's been very aggressive out there in his limited ice time. Now Withy's drilled down to the ice on a huge hit by Hart. Hart's really throwing his weight around. Turning point here, 6.51 left in the second period. That's a four-minute penalty to Ambrose, so it's a double minor. Obviously, Blake was cut on the play. And Smith almost on on breakaway. Here comes Earhart, top of the circle, side of the net, the shot, they score! And it's Hikichi with the goal. 2-2 two, two now, of course, the score, and that, that penalty, because it was four minutes, is only going to so get everyone else. <laughs> Puck comes back out, it's going to be tipped out by Hards and down the ice, and Lakota Joe, you know, he's Hards is going to hit anybody he can see anytime he can. Smith loses the puck. It is a backhand shot off the post. No, it's in. That's a goal. It went off the inside bar and back out. I think that was Blake that might have scored that. Yeah, the Glacier Kings are thinking that didn't actually go in there, so it's yep. kind of surprising. It was Colin Blake with the goal. 
It looked like it went uh, post to post there, but... Wielden fighting for the puck right now. Gets it into the near side corner. Taken by Bates Smith. A blind pass up the near side. Going to be intercepted by McCann. McCann Stolen will stay though. out there. Gioma wins the faceoff, though. And Faber gets nailed down to the ice. And here's a shot, and they score. And that looks like McCann with the goal. I was watching Faber behind the net. <laughs> that was all on Wielden. Wielden with an absolutely huge hit, and it's all started with him behind the net. Now, Marcus Gloss is going off here behind the play. He's going off to the dressing room. Not sure what's happening, but Morovich has come into goal now for the Glacier Kings. Gloss is just going off the uh, to the dressing room. I didn't see what happened to him, but he's, he's hurt. Gains the red and shoots it in. It's a high shot over top of the crossbar. Morovich thought about gloving it, but thought better of it afterwards. Here's a turnaround shot saved by Morovich. The hitting continues yes, along sir. that far side boards right now. Harvey cross ice for McCartney. Nice pass for Williams. He's going to go between both defensemen. A shot, he scores. What a shot by Williams. Top corner on Morovich. 17-28, the time of that goal by Williams. Up to center, 13 seconds left. Raffler inside his own blue line with it. He's going to skate it up to the red. Now the blue, all by himself, one on five. So he still has the puck, though. Still has it in his skates. And finally goes in behind the net. And thankfully for the Glacier Kings, the buzzer sounds. It's a 5-2 hockey game in favor of the Campbell River Storm. The big story here tonight is, is Marcos Gloss okay? The scary part was he didn't go back to the bench. He went straight to the dressing room, and he was hunched over when he was doing it. Yeah, absolutely. We still chose Marcus Gloss as our first star on the night. Uh, he was absolutely outstanding, kept them in it. Second star was from the Campbell River Storm, Carter Hikichi. He had, uh, I think, a uh, goal and assist on the night, and he had an absolutely fantastic night. And then we chose Mitchell Williams, our third star. He's uh, always a threat out there to score. You could see the chemistry with him and Darren Hards, two former Prince George players, both offensive threats, both playing very physical as well. The final score, once again, it was the Campbell River Storm 5 and the Comox Valley Glacier Kings 2. For my broadcast partner, Randall Height, I'm Daryl Skender saying good night from Courtney. And remember, it's always a great day for hockey.